Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. Go pick up some merch at BigHerc916.com and wash your ass because ain't nothing worse than a smelly butt. Also, click the link in the description for Muscle Up Car Lifestyle, my car YouTube channel to see all my car videos over there. And on April 15th, I will be doing a meet and greet and hosting a car show party at the Vault Art Gallery at 1212 South Pacific Coast Highway, Redondo Beach, number 102. That's in California. It'll be from 7 to 11 p.m. along with Sinister Panoply and Alanez Car Audio. So I'm going to be debuting the Wig Splitter Porsche. Um, I got some guys coming out with some really sick cars. My friend, he builds these custom Eleanor Mustangs. He'll be coming through. It's going to be a great turnout April 15th in Redondo Beach. I'll have the information in the description. Come through. Come holler at me. Let's talk some cars. Um, the John Morant stuff, man. Um, one of the viewers asked me to speak on it. And, you know, I was... Uh, a fan because um, I've seen how involved his father was with his career and it seemed like he had a pretty good family unit behind him. They were very close and um, just having that father-son relationship I thought was a great look for the NBA and for just young men in general. But uh, all this crazy behavior that's been coming up as far as with jaw off the court it has to make me wonder like you know what's going on with my man because uh you know he's 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 the the face of the nba he's a young talented player um well-rounded on the court young doing big things and um he's just acting a fool man i guess recently there was an Instagram video where he uh, posted and he, he had a gun in a video and, um, you know, just trying to portray this. I don't know if he thinks that's considered gangster because you have a gun, but um, a heads up, Jaw, most gangsters, you never see their guns. Um, the, the biggest gangsters that I've ever run across, they wear suits. You don't know they're packing. They got armed security guards. And when they are who they are, there is no need to let other people know who they are. So, um, dude, you're, you're, you're really trying to portray the wrong thing. Um, I heard pa Paul Pierce made a tweet about how um, he carried a gun after he got stabbed in the club incident, which, okay, I understand um, not want to get caught slipping, but there comes a point where when you get to a certain level of success or prestige in your, in your, in your profession that you don't go certain places. You just don't, you don't go places where you know there's going to be people and they're hating and it's a certain demographic and that's just keeping it 100. I mean, yeah, you want to go let, you know, certain people know, oh, man, I, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. But those people, those aren't the people you, you shine on like that because those people aren't doing as well. They have animosity maybe towards your success or to you as a person, a lot of jealousy. And, dude, you just, you got to, you got to, you, you got to almost <laughs> pull yourself out of, that circle and create a new one and yeah you know it might not be the people that knew you growing up and yeah it might not be you know that that crowd you think is gonna give you whatever praise but it's for your own well-being and it's like you can't behave like that you can if you want to but it's gonna lead to a lot of drama and then I guess they there's another incident where he he got into uh, an altercation with a young um, basketball uh, player at his house playing a pickup game and they got into it and 
the ball was thrown hard at each other, and then, you know, the kid got jumped and, you know, beat up by John, one of his friends, and it's like, what are you thinking, man? Pops, get, sit him down and talk to him, man. Holler at your son, and um, just have a man-to-man -man with him, man. I mean, that attitude is not going to lead to anything constructive. And, you know, I, I feel that, you know, you, you want to be relatable to the hip hop culture and, you know, um, feel like, you, you, you know, you're properly represented. And, dude, you, you already there. You, you made it. You made what 0.05% of the young black men want to do in life. You've made it, man. Don't F it up. Don't throw it away, man. You know, these, these big corporate people, man, these, these cats behind the scenes, they look at you as a brand and they can't have you as the face if you run around doing street shit, man. You, you're a million dollar dude and you still run around trying to, you're trying to run around and be street shit when you should be being a Huxtable. You know, it, it makes no sense why you would, yeah, it does make sense. You know, you're young and you want to be, you, you, you want to be that dude, but dude, that's not, that's not something to chase. A lot of those guys who are those dudes had no choice or by default fell into that lifestyle. You were fortunate enough to have somebody, you know, guide you and become a professional athlete, man. Use your platform wisely, man. Use it to do positive, man. Use it to, you know, inspire and influence some of these other youngsters to do the right thing and and not want to run around with guns and, and do stupid shit, man. Come on, John. Wake up, bro. I've seen all that stuff, man. I, I, you know, I wish I would have had a dad that would have stayed on top of my ass and kept me doing something constructive rather than hanging out with knuckleheads and, and getting in the shit, you know? It's, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the it's American story you hear over and over. The kid makes it out and is destined for, for fame and, and success and has it and then falls back into trying to, you know, be something thinking that that's going to give him some type of accolades. And you've seen multiple athletes get caught up. You're not, you're not the first to do this wild shit, you know, guns and stuff. Well, you know, look what they did to Gilbert Arenas, man. I mean, dude, this stuff is it's nothing new. Take some advice from some of these OGs, man, and get, get, your, get, your, get your platform back together, man, and, and get, your, get your mentals right, brother. You're better than that. Big Herc 916. Go to BigHerc916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.